Uh, let me read out some of the rationale for the policy today. We cut the repo, the repo rate by 25 basis points and the associated rates by the appropriate amount. Uh, banks have started passing through some of the past rate cuts into their lending rates. Headline inflation has evolved along the projected path. The impact of unseasonal rains has been moderate so far. Administered price increases remain muted and the timing of normalization of US monetary policy seems to have been pushed back. With low domestic capacity utilization, still mixed indicators of recovery and subdued investment and credit growth, there is therefore a case for a cut in the policy rate today. However, of the risks to inflation identified in April, three still cloud the picture. First, some forecasters, notably the IMD, predict a below normal southwest monsoon. Astute food management is necessary, is needed to mitigate possible inflationary effects. Second, crude prices have been firming amidst considerable volatility and geopolitical risks are ever present. Third, volatility in the external environment could impact inflation. Therefore, a conservative strategy would be to wait, especially for more certainty on both the monsoon outturn as well as the effects of government responses if the monsoon turns out to be weak. With still weak investment and the need to reduce supply constraints over the medium term to stay on the proposed disinflationary path, which is down to 4% in early 2018, we feel a more appropriate stance is to front load a rate cut today and then wait for data that clarify uncertainty. Meanwhile, banks should pass through the sequence of rate cuts into lending rates. So uh, I think the policy today uh, I would characterize as neither conservative nor aggressive. It's in some sense a Goldilocks policy just right given the current situation. In addition, I hope to be able to announce a new set of bank licenses, at least one uh, set of bank licenses by August end. We are undertaking a review of all regulations governing markets to see where there is scope for further liberalization once macroeconomic uncertainty diminishes. We're also doing a deep scrutiny of all our past regulations in general to prepare a greatly simplified list of master circulars. Thank you.